Hi guys, and today I will be reviewing this Hornby uh, A1X or a Terrier, to be precise. Um, yeah, this is, believe it or not, a Hornby Collectors Club one, but the box doesn't say that. Um, but here's a box anyway. It's quite a modern one. I don't know if you can read that. It's R3247 and it's a 060 LB SCR. Um, Terrier Loco uh, name is Whitechapel that's um, that's what we'll be reviewing today the reason I got this Loco is simply Whitechapel reminds me of Good Night Sweetheart and I like the programme so I thought why not and it's part of the Hornby Collectors uh, Club one uh, later found out that um, Rails of Sheffield and Hatchins had a load in so joining the Collectors Club was a waste of money so yeah let's get on with the video um, here goes some history on the model. Here is some information on the model. Dapol and Hornby Railways manufacture a model of the A1X in Engage, double O and O, Dapol representatively. So, yeah, let's move on to the uh, front of the model. As you can see, it has the medium uh, screw-in coupling. It has um, painted buffers, which are not sprung. It also has delicate detail on the smoke box door and inches. And it has plastic handrails above that too. As we move on to the side of the loco, as you can see, the rods are in a nice, lovely red colour. The chassis is, um, I think it's black, gold and red again. That lining is also on the steps below the cab. There is gold painting piping on the boiler. There is lots of other piping and handrails everywhere you look. Um, sorry, I don't know the names of them. And according to Hornby, it is in the uh, LBSCR um, brown. So yeah. Um, also, the boiler has a banding of white, red, black and white, red again which is pretty nice. There is no painted detail as such, but they have picked out the reverser, I believe it is called. I won't be able to do an okay job. It also has glazing in the front of the windows, and I'm not sure about the back, but definitely in the front. Um, and it also has the uh, 650, which below it does say um, the work it came from, I believe. And the coal load in the back is simply... Um, well, it looks like someone's in school lines, really. And then we have the chest on the back. Um, tools chest on the back. You can see there. LB and SCR, A1 class, London, Brighton and South Coast Railway, LB, SCR, A1 class is an English class of... 060T steam locomotive designed by William Stradley. 50 members of the class were built in 1872 and between 1874 and 1880, all at Brighton Works. The class has received several nicknames, initially being known as Rooters by their southern London crew. However, the engines were more famously known as Terriers on the account of their distinct bark from their exhaust beat. Later in their careers, some engines were known as Haleying Billy on the account of their work on the Haleying Island branch line. A pub of this name on the island was briefly home to the engine which is now known as W8 Fresh Water. After displacing from their original workings out of London Bridge and London Victoria by more powerful locomotives from the D class and the early stages of the Albi and SCR overhead electri electrified scheme. Some representatives of the class were sold to other operators, 
which the majorly of the remaining ones were put to work on the branch lines in Sussex and in non-revenue earnings work such as shunting. With these new uses being vowed, the class remained in use on the system, surviving to take it into ownership by the Southern Railway from 1923 and by the British Railways from 1948, even though the numbers had redwindled following the Second World War. The A1 class overseas Two of the uh, two of the three locomotives sold to Putting and Co. were exported to South America, and one was working on the La Plata tramway in 1920s. Eight of the locomotives were built by a local Australian builder for the new South Wales Government Railway in Australia. Day one class in popular culture. An A1X class locomotive, Stepney appeared in Stepney the Bluebell Engine, uh, one of the books in the railway series of the children's um, books written by Reverend W. Audrey. Uh, Box Hill was referenced to in the later books in the series, Thomas and the Great Railway Show. Stepney also appeared in the TV series spin-off, Thomas Tank and Friends. The 1975 Ken Russell film, Lismore Mania, include a screenshot of a, uh, on the Bluebell Railway, which featured number 72, Fenchurch, smashing a grand piano left on the line whilst running at speed. Actual footage with the engine running at 25 miles an hour, the speed limit of the line with the film sped up for impact. A 1961 film version of Anna Campbell, uh, parts of which were filmed on the Blue Bell again, include number 55 Stepney, uh, disguised as a Russian locomotive. Here is some information on their class. The power type is steam. The builder is Brighton Works. They were built between 1872 and 1880. 50 were produced. 17 re re uh, rebuilt as a A1X. The wheel configuration is a 060T. They are of standard gauge. Fuel type is coal. They operated under the Albi. SCR, the Southern Railway and the British Railway, we know the class is the A1. Power classification on the Isle of Wight at A and the BR has them as a 0P. They were drawn between 1901 and 1964. Uh, 10 are preserved and the rest are scrapped. The BR number is 32650. The first Grouping number is SR2650. The second pre grouping number is LBSC650. First pre grouping number is LBSC50. Um, the classification is an A1X. The designer is Marsh. Wheel configuration is 060T. It was built on the 31st of the 12th, 18. 76 at Brighton Works. 1948 shed code is 75A Brighton. Last shed code 71A Eastley. It was withdrawn on the 30th of the 11th, 1863, and it was cut up. Here is some more information on the loco I just looked at 50 Whitechapel. 650 Whitechapel, it was also B650, it was W9 Fishborough, 515S, DS515, C and W Lansing Work, also as we know it was 32650 and also 10 Sutton, 
It was rebuilt to an A1X on May 1920 to uh, department stock uh, April 1937, returned to capital stock in November 1951. It was withdrawn in November 1963. It was sold to London Bridge of Sutton and Merton via the um, K and ESR. It was preserved as well. See, so that's the locos on the tracks. Uh, next up, usual. You look at going across some points. So yeah, it suffers a little bit, which I expected, simply because, um, well, it's a small wheelbase. But we managed it okay. Uh, usual up next, slow speed and stuff. So here goes. That's pretty good.
So yeah guys, that's the end of the video. Um, Apologise, the history is a little long. I uh, got confused and carried away really. Uh, the left had so many names. And you can see it was running point today was the C-Class. Um, so that's very nice. With a guard's van train. Um, this one is for my picture I saw online. Um, try my best to get it to the best of my abilities. Uh, the picture should be up before. Um, the logos that are with it uh, in the yard are the V1 slash 3, the schools class. And over here we have Sutton, which is uh, Whitechapel now, so I believe. I believe um, that's the Australian loco, but if not, it's definitely a Great Western uh, Terrier. Then we have the little, I think it's Golden Models, um, Taff Vale loco, and then we have the LMS Pug. Um, yeah, going back to the loco, if you can get one at a good price, uh, get one. If not, uh, don't bother because Hornby's brand new ones are £80. Uh, which is a bit steep um, for what it is and I believe it's the same tooling that this one is and obviously Dapolo Airfix were um, I really wouldn't pay it for one and it's DCC ready that's that's it really no, nothing no sound or anything um, until next time guys it's goodbye from them goodbye from me bye